What's going on everybody? Welcome to Shutterstock Tutorials. I'm Logan and today we're going to be talking about focus stacking. Now this is something that requires some thought when you're out in the field taking photos as well as in the post-production process. So for the actual editing process I'll be using Photoshop and Lightroom. Um, last week I went out into the New Mexico mountains and I took a few pictures as you can see. All right. So I think I found it. So the log will kind of give the shot a little bit of depth, which helps with the composition. Uh, the lights on the other side of the trees kind of spilling in and giving it a kind of silhouette uh, with the edges being lit. So now I'm gonna try a little bit of focus stacking. I don't know if this is gonna work, but basically you just take a little small portion of the shot that's in focus. So you're gonna wanna shallow depth the field. Open up the aperture a little bit, and then I have it at the lowest, so I have it at F2, but then you're just going to keep it in the same place, so you'll need a tripod, and then move the focus down further away from the camera as you go. So you'll take a picture, move the focus down, take a picture, move it down, take a picture, and then in post, we're gonna put it all together. So like I said, it helps when you're doing the focus stacking to one, plan the shots out ahead of time, and then you're gonna want a tripod because the pictures need to be framed the exact same way in order for Photoshop to be able to sync all of them together. All right, and I brought all four photos into Lightroom right here. And what I'm gonna do is just edit the first photo a little bit, nothing too crazy, and then apply the edit to the rest of the photos. Now that I have the very beginnings of the edit, I'm just going to apply it to the rest of the photos. So I'm gonna highlight the rest of them right here, and then I'm gonna go down and hit sync. And you wanna click over everything because we're gonna want everything applied to this, to the synchronization. The rest of the photos have the same look to them. Um, and, and you might wanna actually play with the edit a little bit more when you get to a further focal distance, like if you're focused to infinity, like on this last one right here, you'll probably wanna bring up the exposure or play with the image a little bit more. So again, everything that you do with the edit, just remember that it's gonna sync, and so you wanna make sure it all looks the same. All right, so once you've applied the edit to all of the photos, we're gonna bring them into Photoshop. So to do that, we're gonna go up to Photo, Edit In, and then Open as Layers in Photoshop. Now to merge all the photos together, we're gonna to highlight each photo down here. Then we're gonna to go to Edit, and then Auto Blend Layers. And then hit OK. So this is the image that Photoshop has given us. As you can see, it looks a little odd. Over here you've got some weird out of focus, a little bit overexposure. It looks like the frame is kind of having a hard time matching up. Over here it's weirdly a little hazy. Um, it looks good. This part's a little out of focus. So what you can do is actually just do the whole thing yourself. You just add a layer mask and then mask out the part of the image that's not in focus and then it will be replaced by the part of the image that's in focus from the picture below it or above it. Let me show you what I mean. So once we have the photos back in Photoshop, we're just gonna add a layer mask to each layer. So you're gonna go down to layer mask and then from transparency. And then from here, we're just gonna use the brush tool and kind of clean up the area. And what this does is it reveals the photos behind it. So it just brings out the next photo, meaning even more focus is in the shot. So after you've done this, you're gonna just keep going down until you've hit all of them. As you can see, it looks a lot better than Photoshop's auto blend feature. Now, um, right here, there are a couple shots that I missed in focus from the original shot, so that's on me, like right here, the very front, and this middle portion of the tree trunk on the ground. Um, but for the most part, I'm happy with the way it turned out. And that's focus stacking. Remember, this requires a little pre-planning because you wanna go into a shoot knowing that you're gonna be doing this in the post process. It can help you in low light situations because you can open up the aperture more and get enough light in. Let us know if you wanna see more photo tutorials like this. Hit the notification button because we've got some good stuff coming your way. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next one.